Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 9 of our Wolfer to Wanderer and Hold Empires campaign. In today's episode, we have caught up to Leif the Ever Lurker, who was lurking off shores for pretty much the entirety of our war between his tribe and that of Bellicor and ourselves. So we have finally caught him and are here for a bit of an island battle up here in the frigid north. So for our strategy, we've got some axe cavalry off on the side to be a bit of a distraction and harry the enemy. Our werekin is hiding in the forest here. And then we have our whole army over here to act as kind of a punching force. We're going to smash in from this side, try to wrap around and overwhelm them and kind of roll down the line. See what we can do. We also have a mage to help out with that. And then all of our chariots to deal with his hounds and then just kind of start devastating the line where and, where and whenever they can. Let's get this battle going. Get the Norskins ready. Let's go ahead and grab group one and just kind of drag them on over. Take the kind of position we would like there. And then we'll take these two and bring them on over. Kind of to the center there. Bring the chariots up on each side. Kind of split the difference. Leave the werekin in the forest and kind of bring these guys forward to carry these uh, berserkers a bit. They've got both of them on the same side, which will allow us to do pretty much as much damage as we want. They will start moving towards us, though, so we'll want to pull back a little ways. Got some good initial damage, though. Keep the werekin hiding. Keep these guys pulling just far enough away that they're able to throw those axes but not get caught. Our lord is pretty quick on over there, though. Keep moving these guys on away. Getting caught would be a foolish idea. I'm going to have to use all of our throwing axes on that group, though. We're going to keep watching. It looks like we're going to keep chasing. I'll keep running. We'll have our mage see if he can toss a fireball at some of these spearmen over here. Throw it at those marauder spearmen. You guys keep chucking those axes. Whittling down those berserkers pretty well. They throw much more accurately if they're able to stand still. Come on now. Give him another volley. There you go. I needed to pull you away a little quicker than that. We can just keep them running. We get the sorcerer moving kind of towards the center here, and our lord as well. They're really not looking to engage. We'll bring that group forward. Got to keep moving them at the enemy there. Ooh, they probably got caught. Let's pull them away. Just barely. We can get another fireball off. We'll go ahead and cast that very soon. I think this time we'll go ahead and throw it at their lord. Go ahead and launch one. Commander. I've whittled down these berserkers pretty well here. We're hit on around behind them. Keep them moving on around as well. We'll go ahead and lock the infantry group and charge them forward. Weird how the spearmen ended up in the center, but that's fine. Have the chariots move on in and crash into this group of marauders. You guys as well. Looks like our werekin has been spotted, so we'll see if we can sneak him through. Oh, they're going to get caught. Keep moving. Good lads. Keep those berserkers guessing. You go ahead and launch that fireball. You charge on in and see where you can do the most damage. Beautiful, you guys come hit over here. Our other chariots are doing their beautiful work. We definitely need to try to get the werekin some help here in just a moment. We'll keep these chariots moving around, though. They're in a melee. They definitely don't want to be. Look how fast they blended away there. Now is our Let's bring them back over towards the rest of the fight. Quick. We've got our mage standing a little ways away. As we definitely should. We'll probably charge him in over here where it's a little bit weaker. As you say. Our lord can come out of that here since he's got a bit of damage. No time to lose. See if we can't discourage him a bit. Yes, As chariots are getting destroyed, Raw. pull them on out. We'll bring the other three chariots over to help out. Very well. For chaos. Zax is moving. Shame you chuck a fireball over here into this group of marauders. There are a ton of them all clumped up together. Those chariots got bullied, but we'll be fine. We'll come on through. Get these guys out of that fight. Pull them away as well now. now. Have these guys come on over. Yes. Charge them! Slam into this back line. We serve the gods. As soon as they're away, we'll have them the attack back in again. Dead. You keep smashing. I 
killing comes. Pull them away. Don't get hit by the berserkers for free there. You go ahead and charge in on these berserkers who aren't paying attention to you, hopefully. We'll swing back over and hit these guys. Love both units do it. You guys smash back in here. You give him the old chop. Our shaman can just go throw himself in the fight. Werewolf really needs some help. Pull yourself through. You jump into melee here. You ever see our chariots charging in and then breaking, probably, out of leadership? Let's see if we can get the men do some damage and then retreat on away. The thing with these guys, they really don't need to be in a fight for very long at all. Bring these chariots over. You guys as well. Really need them out of the fight. Okay, they're going to flee. That's fine. Probably good in the long run. Get out of the line, please. I'll bring these chariots around. You guys come out just for a second there. They're sending some marauders out to kind of face you. Chariots are crashing in. Their lord has fallen. We'll get some assistance. Shame and sorcerer. They're fleeing on away. Perfect. I think we've got them. Let's get not slaughtered by those berserkers, and we'll take the victory. Awesome. We're going to chase down as many of these guys as we can, and I will catch you all back to campaign map. What do the gods desire? Give and Leif has been snapped over our knee. An easy first victory here. Gained a good deal of experience for Eggle and a good sack of cash. We'll go ahead and sacrifice these captives for a bit of extra uh, favor there. Gain a Marauder Chariot for Eggle. We will most likely keep him on his Spoiler horse, but I ravage. think we'll try out the chariot just because I did not for uh, Wolfric. But we'll sprint him on back over to the Troll Fjord and probably prepare for an invasion of Melikor's lands. Time to start striking back against the enemy there. While they move on over, we'll hang on in here and take a look at some of his skills. I think a good idea is going to be to just start upgrading his troops. Swelling of Doom is probably a good one. But in post battle loot too, takes of all, takers of all. We'll grab these. Let's grab the fearsome warriors to make sure his marauders are actually throwing down properly. Marauders all. Vigo. You fight pretty well. Let's grab training for now, just for the passive uh, experience gain. Carl will definitely start working down his fire lines. We'll grab that and then a kindle flame or just grab a burning head. Effect range is infinite. I think we'll grab the burning head first. We can grab kindle flame next. Just a better spell than Fireball. Fireball has its uses for mostly large regenerative units. There's a little bit of chip damage to them, but still nothing incredible. So we did a good deal of upgrading over here to the Monolith. I'm actually not going to throw in the Cave of Dark Offerings just yet. Uh, the Armored Skin Wolves are nice, but they actually perform pretty well without the armor. So I'm going to uh, do a bit of gambling and kind of leave them away for now. I think the upgrade we're going to do instead is throw in the Troll Fjord here. We could wait till this one was able to be upgraded at the Greater Tribal Stronghold, but I think it's going to take so long, we would rather get the extra, almost double income from the raiding port. And so we're going to go ahead and go for that. We're also getting the Ruinous Kiln here, and that's about it on that front. We so swung on over, I believe, and I did give one more unit of Skin Wolves to Olaf, who is still raiding. It'll keep him a little bit more safe against the Kislevites, who are probably going to throw down with us pretty soon. We'll keep raiding them um, and then see if any of our allies are at war with them. And then we'll see about getting some extra gold for a fight. We've got all sorts of building upgrades that's going to say are available. We're going to skip over those. Our diplomacy has nothing more to do. We'll hang out here with Throg and end the turn. All right, we gained a Dragonbone Raider. These battle-hardened merciless warriors are experts in stacking looting and the carnage that ensues. Wonder and killings are their reasons to be. We get more income from raiding and from stacking settlements. Sounds good. Frog is almost ready to grab himself some wolves. And I think we will go for the... Rezioli goes for the Femir. Kind of want to try out what these Dread Retainers are. More weapon strength for him is going to be really, really nice. But what is the Dread Retainers? Let us see. Skin Wolf Stalkers. The unending hunger of the Skin Wolves need not be a curse, but a tool precisely applied where the Troll King decrees. 
60% more speed, stalk, wayfarer, and unspottable. Or skin wolves. And can those be passed out to whoever has them? Comes. See? Oh yeah, you can you can pass that ancillary out to whoever you want. Or does that delete it? Did I just ruin everything? Oh, here they are. Cool. Okay, well, we'll probably pass that around to who needs it. Uh, but for now, we will have Wolfric get moving on over to deal with the Tower of Crack. We're going to leave the Bay of Blades raised for now. He's going to be weakened. We're going to go over and we're going to sack it. And then we are going to uh, leave this as is and probably push through, which feels very foolish. But I plan on recruiting up another army in here very soon. And I'd like to take the fight to help it as fast as we can to try to weaken uh, Throt. So let's get Wolfric moving. Is this the Tower of Crack over here? Yeah, please. Where does it change? What changes like right next to the tower? It's always oh, like right here. Yeah, no, it's, it's immediately right next to the tower. Interesting. Okay, we'll jump into a good old raiding camp then. Get some replenishment and just move up the coast. Yup, yup. We may just grab a hero or a lord for a short time just to come and settle the Bay of Blades and then we'll immediately disband them. I'd rather not the uh, scaling get it. They are expanding a little bit much here. Eggle. Hey, you are pretty dominant. Let's come on down south here in normal stance so we don't get any unfortunate situations. I'd like to snag this sea corpse and then uh, see about attacking the Citadel of Lead. Maybe we want to rotate around over here to hit this Isle of Whites. It's a strategic location for the Dark Elves only. 1911 for the treasury. Overrun the world. And moving. Yep, we are nearly to where we can start the monster hunt up as well, which is pretty awesome. Monolith actually looks to be in a safe enough place where I'm kind of tempted to throw in the longship builder because a lot of extra gold. We're just going to keep doubling it every time. So I think we grab it for now since we have kept Bellicor back at the moment. We need a lot of income to throw at these guys too since they are a uh, considering us a strategic threat and do not like trees with the Legion of Chaos, which is very interesting. Figured they would be on the same team. All right. None else to do for now. We will go ahead and swing on in here and check our diplomacy just real fast. And Ferrick, we can grab another deal with very soon. But as far as anything else, nothing else to do. All right. Well, that is uh, that sounds good. We on down to Wolfric. All right, the turn again falls to us. No, Let's way. move on forward. Looks like we would not be able to get out of the Bay of Blades this turn, no matter what here. So we're just going to kind of waddle ourselves on. Okay. We'll stay just no, far enough no. back that both of the armies would have to engage us together. No, away from the tower there. I'm fine with fighting both of these dudes. No problem. Never. Well, as I say, that's a lot of trolls. Jeez. No, we're going for a fully no. trolly army. Which, fair enough. Big old play, uh, fan, Captain Sisiko and Bellicor is back. Bellicor being back is a little bit scary. Let's kind of sneak on in and grab it's this uh, Sea Corpse then. Let's see if we can scoot away. Beast from the Deeps. The remains of a large sea beast are spotted floating in some nearby backwaters. The identified creature has been inexplicably ripped to pieces by an explosive force. Its belly torn open and exposed. This mysterious find could prove bountiful. For who knows what devoured treasures might reside within its guts. An unidentified ship has also been spotted nearby with ri er, rival scavengers. Whoever they are, you are not the only one to salvage. You are not the one to stare salvage with anyone. Oof. Let's go ahead and loot this carcass. Oh, some uh, vampires ride to face us. We would lose all of our front line in combat, so it says. That's pretty disrespectful of you. I will admit that the halberd infantry here are going to be pretty deadly. But if we can get them in a frontal fight with these marauders and then charge our uh, chariots in on repeat here. We should have no trouble bringing them down. Let's get to it. All right, then. We've got another frigid island to battle. I quite like the ones up on the uh, the Norskin islands. They're pretty, pretty neat looking. Let's start the deployment, and we've got a bit of a lopsided 
battleground for ourselves here. We'll throw our werekin in the forest here. Jump him out when the time is right. Throw the infantry out as absolutely wide as we can. Oh, what? What is this? They're all hiding in the corner. What kind of Norskins are you? They just are vampires with undead zombies. Okay. You'll be fine. Got spears on the side here. For no either reason, then. That's what it's expected. They can't be in a line, and that's going to frustrate me. Drag them down just a little bit. And uh, grab these spears and put them in line. Sweet. We'll have our axemen. Kind of hanging out on either side there. Throw them in together. You guys in together. Put two of them down here. Get a few a little higher up. Sweet. And then the Lord and Company. Very well. You kind of roll up front with your chariot. Shaman hangs out behind. And let's get this battle going. Perfect. Okay. Let's just kind of move backwards. Surprisingly enough, we're going to fall back away from them. You guys can go around. Gotta make sure we check how much range they've got. We want to save till we have enough for the burning head, and that should finish things basically at a single blow. Send our boy forward. He's going to be more of a disruptive force than normal. Bring this group a little ways over. Everyone else up. Bring these chariots around. Oh, they're getting way too close to that nitro. Unfortunate group of casualties. And I actually pulled our uh, skin wolf out as well. All sorts of professional activity going down right now. Our poor Axemen getting annihilated by Death Guard. Which is definitely going to happen to them. Rush you guys on a round. We saw you go hit this group of handguns. You guys just move on through. You guys will as well move on through. We've got everyone hitting the line. Get on forward with that burning head. Blast it across right here. That's going to do more damage to our own. Lovely cast. <laughs> we end our own nation of man. Go ahead and charge on in. And the charm debuff. Beautiful. Smash them up. No! Yes! Keep crushing this unit here. Yes! We'll have you guys Charge! stop these uh, Death Guard. You guys come yes! on up. They started shooting the second we stopped. Fair enough. Blast you on over here. Chariots are in on these Death Guard. Guards. Work together. But I pulled you guys away. That was foolish. We'll smash in. They are Death Guard, though, so we want to... Pull them away pretty quick. That's what the master's been. Positioning. I'm back over to this side. Depth guard are getting jumped. You guys act as a them only. We want their eyes. You, will. you guys both keep fighting those deck hands. You charge back in. What do keep those axes deny? flying. Try not to throw this at our own unit here. Being shot Maneuvering. by those pistols, let's stop that right away. Werewolf, deal with you. Smash back into those Death Guard. Get them. They held in. These vampires. You turn around and deal with you. Kick in the Tarn Charm Shield. Death group of Death Guard is being caught between a rock and a hard place and a whole heap of axes, and I think we've got it. Even though our Shaman Sorcerer tried to sabotage the whole battle. That's Death Guard, no joke. Even against Unbraced, they are able to hold in just fine. Alright, the hold on them necro necromantically has been broken. And that's the victory. Still a hard fought win, though. And we secure victory and a good helping of gold, and we'll get some more for our uh, troubles as well. A berserker, a barbarian, an ore slave, and a mounted scout. 
and any rival salvagers you spotted turned out to be a freebooting horde of undead pirates. As you approached the putrid remains, they turned their guns and cannons on you. After dispatching them in the ensuing sea battle, which we did not have, you looted their galleon's coffers, which had recently been filled with trinkets and valuables extracted by the dead beast's belly. Or from the dead beast's belly. 3,000 to our treasury. And since we do have uh, Bellicor here, what we are going to do is turn tail and go recruit up some more strong soldiers before he arrives. So we'll jump into March Dance. But we can't trust Captain Sisiko here. So we'll jump into March Dance and then go ashore. Try to land at the Troll Fjord. We'll go this direction though, because otherwise I don't trust the captain. Safe for now. Bellicor is most likely going to go up north and attack that uh, Dark Fortress once more. So we can kind of Keep that in mind as we go. We'll grab the Fearsome Warriors here with Eggle. Take what's there. Vigo will grab his secondary point in training. Chief and then good old Carl. The tribe. Carl Carl will give you the Kindle Flame. We definitely need to increase the overall magic uh, we have in our regions as well, because we are lacking with that four or five. Here at the Vanaheim Mountains, I am really happy to put in another Ruinous Kiln. Get access to those Ice Wolf Chariots instead. Pretty nasty. We can bring uh, Frostbite to bear as well as a quite a bit faster chariot. Thunderhall is not a bad idea. We're going to keep Throg moving finally. He's up and ready to fight. Fighting Throg's going to be a tough one. He's got some rattling guns already. Now let's keep raiding on forward. Throg has got three sets of rattling guns, two Plague Claw catapults. Reroute ogres, and luckily he does not have. These guys are both on their ogres themselves. Wow, that's gonna be quite a fight. I think Throg is capable though. Throg's front line is terrible, so as long as we actually get into a, a decent engagement with him, we should be all right. The rat ogres lose to ogres 100% of their trolls 100% of the time, and the I mean the routing guns are definitely nasty. Throg himself is going to always be a problem. He has a lot of regeneration and can summon in some more friends. All right, we are on our way. Throg encampment, we will take you nowhere because of uh, nearby enemies. I'll put in the plunder hall here at the hidden citadel for a little bit of growth. I have a party plane. Tempted to grab the soldier one, but I think we'll just go for a either a first dash or another loot pile. Go for another loot pile. And the Grayling Moot is going to need walls. I will probably throw this in now rather than later. Get our settlements looking a little bit more well defended. The Monolith, I will throw in the Ruinous Kiln. And then we'll come out north here to the Monolith and pick that up to a tier 3 settlement. Hopefully be able to defend it from the oncoming Bellicorian onslaught. He just got marauders and a whole heap of spawns, so as long as we recruit up what we need to defeat it and go and actually relay up with this army up here, we should hopefully be able to uh, have what it takes, at least numbers-wise. Plan for Eric would like to have a non-aggression. Are they at war with anyone I like? No, just the uh, Kislevites. Perfectly fine with me. They are going to betray us when the ultimate crisis kicks off, but for now we'll extort them for gold. Doll, we are nearby too. Ooh, our ultimate crisis is going to be nasty, isn't it? We need to break our enemies uh, quickly. Who hasn't been moved? Are you lying to me? No, you're not. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, swing on in then, and I think we attack. I think we attack this group, the Ropsman clan. Or we can do some stealing from them until they decide that they want to fight me. Which almost seems uh, more dastardly and more on theme. We've got some more building upgrades we will ignore, and then we'll go ahead and uh, end the turn. Okay, so Rod has come on over with a secondary army here, and it's projecting a decisive defeat. We'll hand these Skinwolf Stalkers off to this group here. And what we will do is try to back up just a little bit. I only want to fight Throt if we can help it. So we will back up. Okay, so under Morsleeb's glare, your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens abroad, as if the Shadow of Sun Horn God was watching from the evil moons above. 
The army is fettered by Morris Leib's glare. So we could improve the omens for a little bit of gold and gain some war fervor, or risk Morris Leib's wrath and do nothing. Dark Moon can be seen by anyone looking into the night sky. Who says it's an omen aimed solely at them? I don't really want to spend the treasury on improving the omens. But more leadership actually sounds like a good idea, so we will. We'll gain a mountain scout for Carl. Love to hear it. And Throg. How much do we want to bet Throg has an army hanging out right next to him in ambush? Or Throg does. We'll get to that in a moment. I'm going to have our boy Wolfric here move forward. Tower of Crack is tier 4. I don't really want to fight them behind the walls. Two gore beast chariots, huh? Those are pretty nasty. Luckily, they do have Skaven slaves taking up their precious, precious defense slots, so... Not as scared as I could have been. I think the most deadly units they have are all these trolls. If we move in and crush that first army... We can't raid unless we deal with some of these problems. Fair enough, and also unfortunate enough. We'll think on that one, because I think we do want to charge on in that and uh, take the chances we have. We have Chances are good, we do win that battle. Especially if we can break this first group pretty quickly and then get over to where these guys are reinforcing from. There are a lot of them. And that is what I'm a little the bit concerned with. Challenge. We do have champions now instead of our previous, so they are going to be a bit stronger. They will Get still on. be very susceptible to these Chaos Trolls, though. Sheesh. The Chosen will also definitely out outclass them in a fight. I don't think the normal Chaos Warriors do anymore, though. So I'm I'm very tempted to take this. We have the advantage Speak. in fight or in uh, soldiery, so we'll take Throg first. Throg run into Throth the Unclean and see if we get ambushed. Stakes remain. I know he retreats, you big fool. Now, is this all part of some 3D chess plan? Let's see. Now he's a fool. Can you give it a sub valiant defeat still? Why'd you run then? Not very confident. He has two uses of menace below, we'll have to keep in mind. We'll definitely use them on our Marauder Hunters. That's fine. See our terrain, and then we'll charge on in. Ooh, a nice choke point with which to slaughter the rats. Beautiful. Only here's the thing. That choke point actually benefits them much more. Yeah, they're going to line up on the other side there. And they could fire straight down into us and do huge damage. So what we are going to do is ignore all of that. We're going to throw our beast attack right over here in the forest. Have our werekin hanging out with them. We'll have our regular old marauders. We're going to have them all hanging out in the forest. We'll have the, these two guys hanging out up front. Going to take the brunt of any kind of that artillery fire. Berserkers behind. We're going to spread them out a little bit. Great axes in the center also spread. Yeah, a little far back. We've got all of our front line here. We've got the javelins. I'm going to put them in the center. And these guys will just... Oops. Uh, where? The Dark Gods command me! Grab our javelin in the center. Down, and then I'll pull these two a little ways apart. But not by much. Okay, cool. So we're clumped up. We start, well, still are in the forest, so not as deadly as it could be. Group guard mode. And wolves off to this side. Or do we want to do a, a wolf? Troll combo on both sides. How much faster are those skin wolves? Or slower even. Uh, skin wolves are 75. Trolls are 54. Quite a bit slower. I do think we want to kind of use them together though. So let's do so. Uh, wolves and trolls. Wolves and trolls. And these other forests. We're going to hide as many of these guys as we can. Sweet. Frog off by himself. I don't mind him even being off on the center here. That'll begin. All right, Norskins. And other. Send you guys forward. Bring you all to the side. It 
we attack them, so they are going to sit back and wait. Now realize that this map is definitely more geared for them. They can kind of pop down these warp grinders and stop us from getting to them, too. Pretty good ideas. Now I've got to figure out how to break this uh, most effectively. Actually, what I'm not sure on. I'm trying to continue to move through the forest here, as long as we're out of range. Shouldn't be out of range of those catapults. They're probably going to start firing really soon. We'll scoot these, scoot these marauders forward so they can start getting shot at. But I want them to be just inside the arc. On some clan rats around Throg. Alright, if you want to waste them, go ahead. And so we get extra act vigor, he's going to kick the clan rats around. Smash. Perfect. He's going to have a good old time there. This is going to be one of those more slow battles. This one's definitely a puzzle. Harder since they can't get across the river in any spots. Can we fjord over here? There's a small little sneaky spot. There might be. I thought I saw one. No. Is it going to let me? Is it going to be like that? Oh, they're actually blasting away these guys in the forest with pretty good pretty good efficiency here. Get these trolls on away so we don't lose any models. They can actually do some plenty of replenishing. Moving out. Bring the trolls back. Not want to try firing on him with the catapults at all. Keep kind of moving around. We don't want to lose any of those models. That makes it way harder to replenish. Get replenished when you're dead. That's their last summon of clan rats. So we can kind of just run away from them being uh, what they are. Yeah, we have to kind of just move on over. This is going to be a, a nasty fight. I am going to lock these guys as they are. And then send them in. We'll have you guys crash into these clam rats and chase them off. Wait just a moment with these guys. I do not want them taking too much damage. We'll send the werekin up. Beast attached arm hanging back. And units are revealed. Yes, they are. Come on over here and hide behind these trees. Yep, they're going to start blasting away. Try to dodge. I don't think as much hit of much of a hit as could have. We'll dodge a smidge more. Well done. Keep moving. They're gonna switch targets to something I'm gonna have a really hard time dodging. No. Maximum carnage. Chaos Marauders! Yeah, we just have to charge forward. Do as much damage as we can. Could bring the beast of Tashnar in. Real smart. They're going to send those wolf rats forward. Or those are the uh, gutter runners, I guess. Okay, so the gutter runners up. We're going to use you guys to all hit the same side here. So let's charge in on these rally guns. Try to ignore the trolls up front. The rat ogres. And uh, you rush in as well. Let's try to ignore those rat ogres. We're just going to try to run the beast attached our back behind. You guys strike straight in on those warp riders. Let's bring javelins up. Forgot about them entirely. Crash in. Frog speed on up. We're beaten down. We're going to lose so many with those rattling guns. It's going to be nasty to watch, but they are going to have to fall. No real choice there. We send the beast to Tashkar through. No, we can't. We've got too much. Bring them back then. Let Throg and the other beaters do their work. Get rid of them. Skin Wolves. God, that Quake is crazy strong, even against the Skin Wolves. Never does stuff like that for me. The trolls are getting slowed down and blasted apart. Destroy their world. Need to make sure they keep fighting. Nasty damage. Trolls get through. If we can shut down that group, we pretty well win. 
rally guns are nasty, but if we can stop them. them. They will succumb. You guys get through. Kid Wolves are having trouble. They're in. You're getting flamethrowed, but they're in. Frog's group's wedding. We'll go ahead and have them blast some uh, copious vomit over here at these clan rats. Keep smashing them. Let's see if we can get in on this next group behind. Kind of keep running through and stopping them from doing anything. Lots of guys coming on back. I think this is going to be a brutal fight. Dashnar are being wasted once more here, but those rattling guns are causing us issue. I can't seem to pull them through the line, even though they're pretty squirrely normally. Let's see if I can pull them through. It may the get them killed, we'll see. Oop. Oh, not good for Uh, is that mean all these Marauder Berserkers charged in? I guess they got pulled out of the unit somehow when they fled, most likely. There you go, trolls. Disrupt that whole group. Went over and throws some javelins at this group here. We try to do the same. Once they start fleeing, we can uh, send the trolls back. We've got lots to do still. So be it. For chaos. Yeah, our hounds are fleeing on away in terror. Go ahead and have you guys work together on Rot. Actually, that terror worked out for us in the long run. We can get in behind now on those Plague Claw Catapults. Stop these rattling guns from firing. Chaos Marauders! My Marauders, Skin Wolves even, get back in there. No! We're gonna throw those Javelins. We definitely need them into the large targets. Smashing these guys up. Switch over to them. Trolls, where my other ice trolls out. Keep ripping through them. Wintertooth Crown. No one flees. Charge these ogres down. Get these marauders coming on back. Wolves jump those ogres. Beautiful. You guys work together on this chieftain. You keep slapping Throg. Rot. We keep mixing their names up. Our skin wolves are most likely going to be slain if I can't pull them out of fight. He's away. I don't know if we'll get to keep them, though. There is only one of them. They got one set of miniguns hiding in the woods there coming on back. That's one of the more deadly things about the rats. Luckily, a lot of those guys are still surviving. We can send one of the skin wolf werekins after these rally guns. Wolves know you kind of hang out here and just keep regenerating. Deal with this chieftain. I think we've got him. By no means an easy battle, though. Those rally guns are going to keep firing on us because they are absolute menace. We're going to make sure they don't get away. None of the rally guns, and I will catch you all back in a moment. A victory blessed by Pyrrhus. We ended up losing one of our Berserkers there, but everyone else pulled through the fight just fine, and Clan Mulder lost a pretty chunky army in a nasty battle map for us. They did keep a good deal of their rattling guns. We eliminated one of the units as well as the uh, warp fire throwers, so much less tools for them to deal with in the next fight. We will quickly sacrifice these captives. A good deal of gold. Who knows where the rat went? He ran a long ways away. Need a deep cleaner, which did what now? Drake's gained a deep cleaner, gives us more hit points by 10%. That's awesome. And then Audacious, giving us more leadership and charge bonus. Cool. Fortunate that the uh, Throck got to run away at maximum. Is he gone or did he just run away? We need to uh, figure that one out quickly. Jump into March and get back into friendly territory. Yes, we can. Or we just stay in normal stance. I will jump into March. I'm not so scared of the rod, but he did have another army nearby, which is uh, a bit concerning. 
If we get ambushed out here, we'll have the worst time. Go ahead and do the oh age rating God. thing instead. Because if we get ambushed, that'll be a fast way to, for us to lose the battle. Beast. Age of Beast giving him the chilling aura. Less global, global, global. Recruitment for uh, all troll, Famir, and skin wolves. It's global for them. And then he'll cause terror. So yeah, let's grab the Age of the Beasts right away. Carl can grab his upgrade to the Burning Head. Ella Krakenson gets comes. more uh, melee defense there. Almost up to a reasonable amount. And Grydle can as well keep working down the hard to hit path. Keep them in the fight quite a bit longer. Frog is going to do his thing recruiting and hopefully we don't get jumped by an actual sizable army next turn. Got a good deal of gold to spend and we have ourselves a even well, larger nice. battle against the forces of chaos. I think we will absolutely charge on in and take on Hordred first and deal with the other two after. So we'll move on in and this is what we'll start the next episode with. But for now, I'm out of time for today. I've been Space Wizard of War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub phone and I will see you all in the next one.